Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to do a quick video on a good little compromise for an Altoids Emergency Tin cutting tool. Um, I've always recommended that somebody carries a full-size pocket knife, guys. And I think that there's a really good reason and a precedent for carrying a full-size pocket knife in a tin this size. However, I also know a lot of people just have decided they're not going to. They're gonna throw a razor blade or a scalpel in that thing because they're already carrying a belt knife. And then on top of that, they probably got a good multi-tool or a pocket knife in their pocket. Maybe they have a day bag with them of some sort and they have a little saw or, you know, possibly a uh, little hatchet or something like that in there. And they're just saying, you know, I don't need an additional cutting tool in a little tin this size. The problem is, however, that person will turn around and then put a little razor blade or a scalpel in there. And when you press them on it, you say, well, how come you threw the razor blade or the scalpel in there? What they're normally going to say is, well, it's just in case. And I'm like, well, just in case what? What they're not going to tell you normally is that, you know, in the back of their mind, they just want a good cutting tool that should they not have anything except this tin, that they can still do the things they need to do in a wilderness environment. And, you know, it's for that reason. I just think scalpels and razors are the, you know, wrong tool. So I'm going to give you in a minute uh, a good little compromise, or at least what I think is a really good compromise for, you know, that person who's already saying, you know, hey, I'm already three knives deep. I don't really need something, but, you know, if I had something the right size and weight, I might throw it in a tin this size. Guys, there's a reason that a scalpel and a razor blade does not work in this environment. Um, number one is you're using it in a manner it was never intended to be used in an environment it was never intended to be used. And when you start talking about being in a backcountry emergency and the possibility that that would be the only cutting tool you had available, yes, it would, uh, you know, open up a trout if you need to clean out a trout or something like that. Um, and that's really where its effectiveness and usefulness is going to, you know, that's where it's going to come to an end pretty quick. Um, like I say, it's going to chip out easier. It's going to dull quicker, most likely. It's going to be easy to lose. You don't have a good handle on it, and that's most of it. You know, it's not particularly a strong tool in the first place, but then you also don't have a handle on it. So we're talking about the potential of you maybe improvising a handle or, you know, something like that. And what happens if I'm in a backcountry emergency and then, you know, I, I have a nasty cut because I was using a tool in a way it was never intended to be used. And, you know, I'm outside of medical you know, medical resources. It's just, to me, the wrong tool for the job all the way around. So what I've always said is, you know, go ahead and carry, you know, a good full-size camp knife. Right here, I've got my little Swiss Army knife. Maybe you have a little buck or, you know, whatever it is that you like, uh, a little case knife. But I have a good little folding knife, and it doesn't matter whether it's got a lock or not. You know, if, if you know how to use that knife, a good camp knife is gonna do anything in an environment you know, like this where, you know, it doesn't matter. Maybe I have to emergency prep tinder, uh, get some kindling together, that sort of thing. Get a fire going and, you know, maybe it's been a little rainy, nasty or, you know, that sort of thing. Well, guys with a good camp knife, no problem. But if we start talking about trying to do that same thing with a razor blade, it's gonna fall short. Um, additionally, I would say that, you know, a good camp knife has been used for generations at this point in time by, your, you know, hikers, your hunters, your trappers, your campers, like I say, for generations. And it'll do anything you need it to do in the backcountry, from processing out critters to being comfortable in the hand for carving. So that's why I kind of would always steer somebody to having a good full-size tool like this. However, if you're the person who said, you know, I just don't need it and I'm not gonna carry it, I do wanna show you something that I think is a pretty good little alternative uh, between the two, like I say, assuming you're you're already going to have a couple of good knives with you. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show this to you real quick. Um, take that little Altoids, take that little Swiss Army knife out of that Altoids tin. Okay, so now this is what we're talking about, guys. This here, let's see. actually, yeah. Sorry, there you go. Um, that's how much space we're talking about, guys. This here is a little Gerber STL, and it is not, it's not the perfect knife for the woods, guys, but it is one ounce, takes up 
no space whatsoever as you saw and it's still a good size little you know a little two inch blade uh, i put a little lanyard on this thing helps me you know, hold on to it a little bit better because as you can see its biggest benefit is that it doesn't take up any space or weight however you know that's also its biggest downfall when you get it in your hand because it is razor sharp and it will you know process uh, you know if you're talking about doing some wood carving or something like that for you know just small amounts no problem whatsoever the problem starts coming in is that it's not comfortable for anything like that but yeah it'll make fuzz sticks like a monster and chew right through you know wood and you know super sharp plenty tough i would consider it a light duty knife um like i say this definitely wouldn't be a go-to by any stretch of the imagination but if we're just talking about could i use this thing effectively for a weekend i probably could now in my altoid stand guys i always do go ahead and throw in you know a good full-size camp knife but what i'll normally use this thing for is i've got another little tin that will normally go maybe with my rifle or my shotgun if i'm out hunting just as something that's you know on the rifle shotgun itself should you need a little extra something you've got an extra tool available um it's about one ounce it's made of stainless steel guys here's the thinness we're talking about right let me see here uh, there's the thinness right there so this thing is just probably about the thickness of a dime i'm gonna say that blade is at its you know wide spot and it just tapers down from there it's got a very very fine edge on this thing um the actual body of this thing you know that's probably only about the size of two quarters side by side or something it just really takes up no space whatsoever um i've had mine for probably i'm gonna say 10 12 years at this point in time i don't know exactly how long but i've had it for a good long time um and like i say here's the amount of space that's actually taken up in a kit now here's the best part guys no space no way and you can buy this thing for probably around 20 dollars. i haven't looked at them in a little bit but you know it's a economy priced knife so you know i'm definitely not recommending you rush right out and buy one and throw it in your tin and you know have that as your go-to knife but if you're already telling me you know you've got the knife situation well taken care of and you you just want a little piece of redundancy in a kit this size it might be an option for some people you not me um but what i will say like a, it's really kind of it's just a well-built piece of gear at least mine is it's a light duty knife as i said but you know it's it's been plenty sturdy for me for the task i've used it for at this point in time you know i'm not using it heavy use at all but you know for like i say a short-term emergency just to get you over is definitely going to be better than a razor blade or a scalpel and you know because it's it's got this you know it folds up good it's just a lot safer on top of everything else the quality control has been good on mine it came hair popping sharp razor sharp it uh, has that little thumb hole there and it actually works i've seen some reviews before where people said you know it wasn't you know maybe it didn't come as sharp as they wanted or it, you know the it was a little stiff with the lock up on it or whatever the case is mine seems to have a, a good secure lock on it and like i say for a light duty knife for an emergency as your third backup fourth backup i don't have a problem with it one ounce guys all right thank you so much for hanging out with me this afternoon um i hope this was helpful to you if you know if you enjoyed the video please go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoy these kind of videos though i would say go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and hit the bell and then you'll make sure you get notifications when i come up with new stuff with new uh content and you know i just really wanted to say thank you very much i do appreciate you spending you know the afternoon with me and kind of hearing what i had to say here guys my goal would be that um more people end up kind of hearing the things that i've kind of learned over the years i can pass some of the stuff along and as a result you know they'll be safer in the back country they're carrying better kit you know the entire reason why i would tell you that you know i want you to go ahead and have a good alto a good knife in an altoids tin is because in my opinion i want you guys to have the absolute best gear available to you not necessarily the smallest gear 
So, you know, that's kind of where I'm coming from. I hope it helps you out. Uh, you guys have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.